What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances Michelle. I'm super happy that you guys are here. Today's video is going to be my, I'm going to call it my pregnancy makeup. I have a lot of people sending me messages when I ask questions what videos you guys would like to see next on my, vid on my channel and a lot of people want anything pregnancy related and I'm like, all right, pregnancy related, let's do this. And also a lot of people ask me simple go-to makeup looks. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna combine both of them together. Since I've been pregnant, I haven't had like, what you call it? Like a lot of ha like a lot of strength and a lot of like um to be able to do my makeup. Like, whoa, like literally beat my face. So I've been just on the natural skin side. So today's video, that's what I'm gonna give you guys. It's gonna be like a pregnancy makeup look. So it's like a makeup look that if you are pregnant and you're feeling like me without energies, um, days you wake up and you just don't even want to do your hair or sometimes you barely want to do like brush your teeth or shower, or, hey, don't judge. It happens, okay? It legit happens. You are growing a tiny human being inside of you and it's draining everything. So guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button right down there. Make sure you're part of my beautiful girlfriend squad here on YouTube. And as usual, you can follow me on Instagram. My social sites are always gonna be down, down below. So if you guys want to see how I transformed this phase that looks like I haven't had sleep in, how many weeks am I, 22? Haven't had sleep in 22 weeks, <laughs> then grab a snack and come join. All right, so first thing is first, I wanna go ahead and dip my brows. My brows take me the longest time. I still have a love-hate relationship with my brows, so I like to get my brows out of the way the first thing. So let's moisturize, let's prep our skin. I'm gonna be using a moisturizer, and you can use any moisturizer you like, any moisturizer that is gonna be good for your skin. Um, I have dry, sensitive skin, and I've been using a lot of the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce, and it's bomb. So just go ahead and let's go ahead and prep our skin. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply moisturizer, and then I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the primer. And the primer that I'm going to be using, guys, is it's from the drug from the drugstore. It's actually the new CoverGirl. It's the new CoverGirl True Blend primer, and the one I'm using is the Pore Minimizer. going to mix these two foundations here these are both from the drugstore they are both new so I'm so excited that they keep coming out with good formula the first one I'm gonna mix is gonna be the Maybelline super stay foundation but I'm using the liquid one not the one from the stick which is amazing but I love the finish of this one and then I'm mixing it with the covergirl true blend matte made foundation this foundation guys is really 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 good I always grab one lighter than the other one because I like to um, have that color match on my skin. So let's fast forward and let's dab. foundation is done as you can see I love the full coverage of it so if you are full coverage type of person then this is gonna be awesome for you all right so now we're gonna move into under eyes guys and you have to invest in a nice primer I'm gonna be using the uh, burn this way from Too Faced I've been obsessed with this primer um, a lot of people say it creases on them it dries up them and they prefer the shape to dark concealer which is great also
Okay, so baking is totally an extra step if you guys would like to take it. It's not hard. Don't be scared of baking. Um, I find it very easy to do and also it is it helps with the makeup. It helps with staying with having the um, under eye stay in place and everything. So I highly recommend it. Reason why is because while you bake your under eyes and you bake where you put um, your concealer, you're going to go ahead and do your eyes. So pretty much it's the same thing. It's not like you're... Well, I don't have time for that. I mean, right now we're going to jump into the eyes. So you definitely are going to have to still sit here and wait for your eyes to be finished in order for you to be able to get up and go about your day. You can definitely do the baking, like I said. It's totally up to you. Or you can skip it and go straight to powdering your face. Make sure you powder your foundation in to make sure that everything else you're going to place on your face is going to blend in together. So you can skip on to powder. Pretty much, I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend powder also. So I'm going to be using that powder with a big powder brush. And you can go ahead and just quickly powder your face to make sure that you set your foundation. So your foundation is stays put all day. Sweat, baby spit, husband kisses, kids kiss it, everything. So just make sure that you are using powder to set your foundation because it's very, very important. All right, so now we're just going to move into the eyes, and my eyes are pretty simple, guys. You'll see. you see in the thumbnail. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, but you can use a bronzer. You can use any color bronzer you have to do this look. I just find that the color right here that this palette has, it's a perfect brown tone for my skin type, my skin color, so that's why I use it. But I used to use a lot of bronzer when I was doing my everyday makeup look. So you can definitely reach out for your bronzer and do it. So we're going to do this very easily, guys. We're going to grab a fluffy, big blending brush. And we're going to pack it all on our crease and all the way up to our brow bone. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to use the color Riff. And I'm going to show you guys what I do with it. I'll just place it on my crease and work inwards and outwards just like that just to bring a little color a little um not color but a little definition onto our eyes to make sure our eyes look a little brighter you can do this with any color you guys like i like warm colors because they look more natural um but i've tried doing this with like a more peachy color and it looks beautiful as well so you can also try with a little more peachy color or a little more like a light tone mauvey um pink and you can play around with it and definitely do different colors so you can do one day you can do this brown for work or whatever or running errands and then the next day you can do a peachy look with the same thing just grab a peachy color blend it on the crease and you're ready to go pretty much this is what I do to my eyes and now what I like to do is I like to grab a small shading brush and I like to do you can do a, a, a shimmery color if you like but if you think it's too much you can go with a, de uh, a regular matte light color and use it on your lid Alright, so guys, this is what I do to the eyes. I am not going to apply liner on my eyes because I feel like liner closes your eyes and we're trying to make us look white, awake, and alive. Like, we didn't struggle the night <laughs> trying to sleep, not being able to get, a, get comfortable because of our bully. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pack on mascara, guys. Pack on mascara. Like, legit pack it on. Make sure your lashes look bombing. Make sure your lashes look, like, fire make sure that your lashes look like you have lashes people some people say I don't have lashes make believe me if you find the right mascara you will definitely be able to show your lashes so make sure that you pack on mascara you can do one or two mascaras it all depends on your timing it all depends on how much you have but I like to do two Sometimes I have to do one coat of one and then the other one in the car because we're out already in the road but whatever Whatever works for you, make sure that you find a mascara that is going to work with your eye lashes. And you definitely need to apply a couple of coats. So 
as you can see, I don't do much to the eyes because this is not about blending two, three colors. This is about just an easy warm up of this face. So we're gonna move on to the face and we're gonna do bronzer, blush, and highlight. Yes, we're gonna do all three and it's gonna be very, very easy and very simple. So I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pour um, bronzer. You can use any bronzer you like. So just pretty much start there and work your way up. Because what we're doing is we're just bringing, pretty much bringing warmth to the face. We're not um, doing like no kind of contouring, just bringing warmth to the face. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to. Um, you can definitely skip blush if you if you want to and go straight to highlight. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. It all depends on the time you have. But if you do, you can add a little bit of blush, and I like to do a more of a flesh tone blush. Don't do pink because we are not trying to look like clowns. And again, having to deal with a pink blush, you have to blend very well, and we don't have time for that. So just do a more of a skin tone looking blush because. It's gonna go ahead and match with your um with your bronzer, so it's gonna be easier. So just a little bit, smile, apples of your cheek, blend upwards, and that's it. So now we're just gonna go ahead and move into um, highlight, and this is the point where I like to go crazy because I like to highlight, make that make sure that. Our pregnancy glow is popping. Make sure that we're there. That make sure that everything looks very healthy and dewy. So I'm gonna be using the Pixi um, Subtle Sunrise. This is the glowy, glow, the glowy duo. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a brush, and I'm gonna mix both of the colors together. And I want to show you guys how this looks. Look at that, guys. Can you? You wouldn't say. You wouldn't tell that this is from the drugstore. Like legit. Yo, this is nice. I like using more of a peachy nude color, so that's what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna be using the Ofra. <sighs> it doesn't have a name. I'm gonna be using this Ofra. I will definitely put the name on the bottom as soon as I find it. Um, it's more like a nude, nude, peachy pink color, I would say. Like a peachy pink. The last step, guys, that I highly recommend for this look to come together is using a setting spray. This is gonna be your best friend, guys. This is gonna make sure that it doesn't transfer, and this is gonna make sure that your makeup stays in put. I mean, you did spend 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes that you barely had. You kind of pull it out and you did it. Um, this is gonna definitely make sure that you don't have to touch up during the day because you don't have time for that, honestly. I don't have time to come back into my makeup room or my makeup corner and touch up my makeup. I really don't have the time. So make sure you use a setting spray. you enjoyed the tutorial like I said I try to give you as simple as possible but this is my go-to everyday makeup look this is what I go to when I have to go out I have to do errands and I want to look presentable I want to look like I like like a human being you know like not that I struggle the night away trying to find sleep so guys if you want to see more of my videos and you guys would like what you saw make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up make sure you if you are pregos and you're expecting your first, second, third, fourth child, whatever it is, let me know in the comment section below. I am expecting my third child. It's a boy. And I am 22 weeks. Yeah, I am 22 weeks. So I'm excited. Um, I will be doing a pregnancy update video really, really soon here on my channel. So stay, uh, stay on the lookout for that. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe right down there. All my social sites are right down below. We can be friends. We can chat up. We can have a good time. So as usual, thank you so much for sticking till the end. Thank you so much for your love and your support. It means the world to me. Muchos besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Bye.